Today we're going to talk about lenders behaving badly and how consumers often reward behavior, which makes it so that this continues. And this is something that I see throughout the industry and it's a real problem. Um, so I'm going to be using an example, a floral example, to help make my point clear. Are you ready? Okay. So let's say that you're gonna have a big party and your party planner has said, you should talk to Paul, he has the best flowers, use him. And you're like, cool, I'm gonna use Paul. Paul's a little bit hard to get a hold of. You keep on asking Paul what type of flowers he's gonna bring and he keeps on saying, let me know when you have the event and the date and then I'll let you know. And you're like, okay, I mean, that does make sense because different flowers are in different season and the market and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you find the event space and you're so excited, you're gonna close, you're gonna have your beautiful party. So you call Paul. Paul, what type of flowers can you offer us for $500? Let me show you what Paul offers. Paul says, well, because of the market, the flower market, right now I can offer you two dozen of these tulips. And you're like, wait, you mean like new tulips, right? Not like these dead tulips. These are like half dead. This one's dead. This one's dying. This one's about to die. Like, you mean new, right? And Paul goes, no, this is, this is all I've got. This is the best I can do for you. There's nothing else that can be done because of the flower market. This is it. And you're like, wow, that's not good. Our, our guests aren't really going to like that. They're not going to have a good memory of our event. So you talk to your party planner and your party planner talks to some of their friends and they tell them about Paul's tulips and they're like, oh yeah, that's not right. You need to call Gary, Gary's florist. So you call Gary. And you say, Gary, for $500, here's the event, here's the thing, what can you do for us? Gary says, oh, I can give you five dozen long stem roses. It will look beautiful on every single table. It's gonna be amazing, okay? So this is what Gary's giving you for your budget. And this is what Paul offered, okay? Who do you have to do the flowers for your party? Well, Gary, right? Clearly, clearly Gary. Oh, but wait, Paul heard that you're gonna use Gary instead of him. And now Paul's offering to do the same roses. Hmm, okay. Now, personally, I would be like, oh my goodness, Paul, you are gonna ruin my event with these horrible dead tulips. And now you're just offering to give me this. Because that's exactly what is happening. But what happens a lot is people go, oh, wait, he'll give me red roses? Well, I don't know, Paul, Gary's giving me red roses. And Paul goes, well, I'll give you 10 tulips too. And you're like, oh, Paul's gonna give me 10 tulips too. Hey, Gary, Paul's gonna give me the roses you're gonna give me and the 10 tulips. And that's what we see a lot in mortgages, right? That's a little bit hard to understand, but not really. I mean, the main thing with this is, why are you still talking to the guy that was gonna give you dead tulips? He was gonna give you dead tulips until he found out you were gonna leave him for someone giving you something better. His entire intent from day one was to give you dead tulips. And then he only suddenly could offer this once he knew someone else was giving it to you. Right? So what am I talking about? Those tulips are so ugly, I had to move them and this is too big, so please hold. talking about mortgage rates. Mm -hmm. So I've seen this a couple times and it's something that drives me crazy because I am one of those people where what I offer you is the best I can offer you. I have nothing else to offer. I give everything I can upfront. And I do that because as a consumer, that's what I expect. And that's what I think people should have. I think you should get the person's best offer. I don't think you should have to shake them down or you know, get 30 quotes, I don't think you should have to work extra hard to get the best someone can offer, okay? But for some reason with mortgages, people are different. They're like, they forget the fact that the first person was gonna offer them this much higher rate that would affect them, you know, depending on the loan amount, half a percent, it could be hundreds of thousands of dollars over the life of the loan, if it's a very big loan. But that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of this. We're seeing, you know, a lender comes in with a high rate, the borrower shops them, all of, all of a sudden this lender's rate goes down. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I'll stay with them. They match that lender's rate. And that's wrong, you shouldn't. You're rewarding bad behavior. 
You are. It's like, great. It's great that they lowered the rate for you, but think about all the other people that they talk to, that they deal with, that they work with. What if those people don't shop them and they end up with the higher rates or the dead tulips? Do you want to be part of keeping that going alive by rewarding this person and teaching them that they can offer something really high and then lower it once you do a ton of work? I, I don't think we should be rewarding behavior like this. You know, if someone tries to take advantage of me, I'm done. You can't earn my trust back. You cannot earn my business. If you tell me you're doing the best that you can and then I find out you're not, done. Done. <laughs> done. There are no second chances. Done. And the reason is, is that if I don't cut people off like that, if they're doing stuff like that, they're going to do it to other people. And that's what you should think about. So if a mortgage lender offers you a rate that's very high and then all of a sudden they can magically lower it, go with the other people that offer you the lower rate from the front, from the get-go, okay? Go with those people because they're offering you the best deal up front. They have your best interest at heart. This other person playing these games, just walk away. Just walk away from them. Now, if you're a lender watching this and you're like, oh no, I have to get an exception on everything because where I work, the rates are so high. You need to switch where you work, guys. Like seriously, I've been doing this a long time and I can tell you, yes, there are lenders that have higher rates no matter how much you charge as an originator. You're always gonna lose. So why would you be at a company where you're always gonna lose? Why? Why? Do what's best for the consumer. You know, that's why I am where I am and I've been here for so long. It's what's best for the consumer. It's what's best for my clients. And that's what I wanna urge you guys to do. Do not reward the behavior of high to low. Just reward the behavior of honesty, transparency, and offering you their best from the start. And if anyone has an advertisement that says, we'll match any quote, just walk away. Because what they're telling you is, hey look, we know there's better than what we're gonna offer you the first time, so if you find something lower, then we'll match it. Just say no. Just say no to price match guarantees. You shouldn't have to work to get the lowest deal. You should be offered the best thing that anyone can give you upfront. So thank you for watching. I hope it made sense.